the insider's information revealed to us that a, 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 an Inyibi, a Kenyan called Inyibi, is the gas ICT consultant. He developed a software to help them find solutions to some of those challenges. That software has not been tested anywhere else. It has not been tested before as to whether or not in solving the immediate crisis, it was not the kind of software that can have negative technical effect on other things. What has been established today is that that software, patch, called patch, has been wiping out, corrupting the fingerprint already captured. So that's why there are zero instances of remarks on many sheets, many raw data they've handed over to the political parties. There are particular instances where a whole uh, word, unit, will have zero uh, 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 remarks because the fingerprints that were captured had been wiped out. The circumstance of the moment as revealed by this voters register crisis is that he's not in a position to do to deliver our advice coders humble very strenuous reasonable advice is that coders should allow the 2011 voters register compiled to remain continuous voters registration should go simultaneously with it card reader should be left out of this equation because it is counterproductive now. Card reader should be left out of this equation because he believes it is counterproductive, uh, counterproductive for this time. So, Mr. Ogwadi, what do you think about this? I, I agree with uh, Koda here. Looking at uh, the man's pedigree, that is Ayokpadoko, He's not a small fry in Nigerian politics, in the civil society. The man is a lawyer of long standing. And I want to assure Nigerians that this is one man that has no skeleton, has no controversy with him in his life and cool. And he's, whenever he talks, he talks sense. And this, apart from the facts, like we lawyers say, is there for everybody. Like I don't tell anybody. All over the country, in fact, let me begin from the world, all over the world. Elections are conducted all over the world. Yeah. I hope that this government of officers now will tell us, mention one country where we have all this crisis about common ID card, common ID card, nonsense. Then can't they call them PVC just to put everything, just to mess up? It's common ID card. So what's the big deal in giving ID card? I'm sure you have an ID card here, but have you got your voter's card? Have you got the PVC? I run an organization and I run several organizations. I run this group called Voters Awareness. I used to run a project called uh, the PPS Pop Group. ID cards, immediately, immediately you join. Within two days, you have your ID card. Don't forget this ID card that we are talking about is supposed to be given to us in 2011. Could it be that Aneki is going through or rather facing certain challenges that... Look, if you are running a business or you are doing happy. any business, you are doing anything whatsoever, and you are blinking in the dark, nobody will see what you are doing. Has Jega come to tell us this is, a, this is his problem? Yes. If he don't come, and meanwhile, there, is, there are all this news filtering. Look, you are like a bird flying in the air. If you think nobody sees you, you are just deceiving yourself. Anything you do, people know. And if you are doing something wrong, people will be talking. So, but why don't you now come out? This is my problem. And there are strong stakeholders who can help you solve your problem. There are so many. Is there ICT? I remember that there is one young man that came the other day to this program on this station who is an ICT expert. And I'm sure there are several thousands of them who volunteer mm. to give help in this regard. Mm. So what is the problem? Just as I said earlier on, it's not only in Nigeria that they conduct elections, but it is in Nigeria that people will not get their votes. They will not see their names on the register. Mm. They will not see where they voted, uh, where they register. They will not, on election day, the, votes, the, uh, the people will not be there. On election day, they will not pay people the allowances. Or before the election, they will not pay people the allowances. All so many things. What is the problem? 
you know, it's like adding salt to the injury because um, laudable, laudable uh, efforts by ANEC to have extended the continuous voter registration. Mm -mm, they are not, sorry, sorry, sorry. They are not making us any favor. There is nothing laudable in it. Okay. The law is clear. And maybe that's why I will bring out the law so that they don't say this man is talking from his place. Section 9 of the Electoral Act, this is the document, Electoral Act, Section 9.2. It's clear. Oh, sorry, Section 9.5. It says that the registration of voters, updating and revision of the register of voters under this section shall not stop not later than 60 days before any election covered by this Act. And the general election is one of the elections covered by this Act. For your information and for anybody who is listening, I'm a lawyer. You don't need more than P to, in mathematics. And that's all I know I have. I didn't crave for C or P or B. But the little calculation I know is that between now and the next general election is more than 90, is just about 90 days or 80 days. So if the law says 60 days, you open the doors to people for them to register. For starters, okay. all this uh, problem is not caused by me or you or the listener or the person who wants to register. It is the right of all Nigerians to register. And I hope somebody in INEC is listening. It is the right of all Nigerians to register as voters, and but nobody has power. Now, Let me land so mm -hmm. that the, I, I bury it very. I I I, rub, I, I bury it very well. Okay. It is the duty, constitutional right of all Nigerians to register, and INEC has no power to shut out anybody. If they have problems with money, let them ask the the, the National Assembly mm -hmm. to give them money, mm -hmm. and they have not cried. And I know that international agencies support them, well fund, uh, funds for them to carry out their responsibility. Mm -hmm. So what is the problem? The law is that every, it is until 60 days. Let me quickly tell you this. I, I, I attend religious organizations, um, uh, prayer, crusades, and so on. And there's one person that is given the responsibility, a pastor or a man, to, to give, take the thanks offering. Is there anybody who has not given his money into the basket, put his money into the basket? If there is such a person, shout hallelujah or praise the Lord. You hear noise all over. Oh yeah, ushers, quickly go to that corner, go to Maiduguri, go to Sokoto, go to Nguru, go to Zamfara, go to Kano, go to Bayansa, go to Ijebode, go to Oyo, go to Enugu. Until there is deafening silence, the man will not shut the door. I understand so the position of INEC as regards um, the PVC collection, uh, the Permanent Voters card collection, and the fact that even if you did not get it at your polling units, you can <laughs> you can access it at any of the local governments. But what is the plan now for people who are yet to register with the <laughs> continuous voter registration ending yesterday? Does that shut the door at every the law is pot clear. other potential register? The law is clear. There is nowhere in the law that says people should go to INEC and get their register. Let them bring it out in the law now. The issue is that INEC should make this issue available, uh, this available to the people, register them. They are, so if I go and collect in, look at the logic now, if I go to a local government to collect my PVC, so we are, I will go to the local government to vote, won't there be confusion on election day? My brother, you are talking to a stakeholder who knows about this thing. I've been involved in election observation. On election day, you see people running around, look, I've got where do I vote? In fact, if, 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 if it's a phoning program, somebody will phone in and say, on election day, he goes to where he registered, he okay. didn't find the people to, to uh, for, he didn't get his uh, voter's card, he didn't get uh, the, the polling unit there. Okay. And sometimes they will say his name is not there. So you want to create room for serious crisis? What is the big deal in giving? Like yesterday now, I, I heard that in Lagos, some of these uh, ad hoc staff were protesting. Why wouldn't they protest? The money has been voted for it. Give them their money, they do their job. It's all right. Let's just open the phone lines briefly. We'll take ah. just about two calls to feel the pulse of the people as we gas this issue as we begin to round up this segment. But then, what way forward, Barrister, for INEC and the electorate at this time? <laughs> no wahala. If you don't have good, uh, what's it now, capturing machine, then let people write, uh, 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 what's it, do it manually. They, they put their names there. On election day, you come, you say, where is your name? They sign. They could sign again. They're sick and no wahala now. They sign. If they can't sign, then they don't print or they take paper. Oh, look, there are, are, are all these cameras all over. What's the big deal? In fact, I can tell you that within one week, they can get themselves uh, 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 some laptops that can dare. I'm sure, like my own laptop, you can do Skype, you can do anything, you can take picture of yourself. You do it. Why wait for all this PVC capturing that is giving wahala? 
<laughs> there are laptops that I know that can capture all you need to do is stand before it, it will capture you. That's so what is this technology that they are telling? It's not rock si rocket science now. That's for, uh, the issue of technology. Mm. For your information, in March, some people, government said they wanted to give them job. They didn't know that they wanted to kill them. They went to the national stadium. You see the droves of people. And I tell you, there are so many people who want to work, uh, ensure that this registration succeeds. They are ready. If, I, if INEC comes and says, I know, we don't get money. I don't think they will tell people that they don't get money anyway. But let's assume Jagger comes out and say, I want people to volunteer. I will, I will, I'm ready to, for my group, one million Nigerians. And I hope they are listening. Well, beyond all of this now, some have even already jumped to the conclusion. Okay, let's take this call. Good morning, Abdul. How are you Hello. today? Hello. Hello. Good morning, Abdul. Sir, I'm not going to go there. to and uh, if you want to do your guest. Morning. I'm going to Nigeria. Like the, uh, the analyst says, uh, your guest, I mean, see on the election days, so they're finding it difficult to know their problem goes from where to carry their like, work. But in my own case, it is. I ran in the media and the television game with really. My, 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 the my, 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 now, what, you know, what happened now was that I went to my place, I told it directly for me to register, and then my brother, if you know what you saw there, the nation can never be captured. The battery went down on second in second days, in fact, in every minute. They recharge, they come back, and it's look at the crowd. In fact, I was frustrated. I don't know the definitive we should go to Cairo or go to Hawaii. It's one of our reasons. Then after that, okay, now, what I like is telling you, because we are many, I beg like you, we are more than 60 percent that have no register. Those who I know that have been going there. And I'm one of the contestants, too. And you can imagine what will happen to me tomorrow if I cannot be able to get my voter's card. So now, what they are, they are showing my goodness is that those who reside in the city center, like us, they think it would come like, I already call it, I make a headquarter in the uh, uh, FCT uh, headquarter, which is in New York. And, and as I speak to you, the I one of the army director was on the edge of the time in one of the radio programs in the future, and it promised us that within the short period of time, they will have a text there where people can go in there and register and then get their TV. Those who are doing following the CVR, you know, CVR, you go and do their system, and those who are the people that are appealing to the permanent and voters can people can go and pick it up. I went to that office twice now, and they were told me that there is nothing like that in there. And then I asked, who are we deceiving? Let your face say there, 2011. You got promised in general that there's some food in the election. Every eligible voter will have his voters card. And then I said to I'm for something useful, and I'm trying for her representative. No, I don't have my house now. Don't you think that's going to be the first chance of us? Okay, Thank you very much for your question. I'm sure that you recall that the man who also is running for the Republican Party was yet to you. I understand we have a lot of people to say Moving on for INEC for Nigerians, is a, it's very saddening to know that quite a number of Nigerians have shown interest to participate in this process. Glory and, glory. But then they're having challenges <laughs> having it done. What should INEC do? Some have suggested that maybe we should just go back to the temporary <laughs> voter cards. You heard that man say, let's go back to the 2011. But what, what should INEC do at this time? To God be the glory, when I started this, camp, this project, mm. some 15 years ago, immediately when election, uh, the democracy started, people said, don't worry, you are just wasting your time, your vote will not count. Mm. No doubt, the level of awareness was not this high in 1999. It wasn't this high in 2003, 2007, mm. 2011. But look at, to God be the glory for stations like you, the media and everybody, the enlightenment has caught up. 
that people are now struggling. Before we beg people, come out and vote, come out and register, come out and register. Now people are struggling. People are now sacrificing. They will sit in the sun, in the rain, that we want to get a voter's card. Yeah. This type of a person, he too may not be interested before, but now look at the level of awareness. And we've been talking to INEC. This is not the first time we'll be having this type of a program, but to God be the glory. Let's just take this, this <laughs> one more call. Good morning, Adi Rogba. Good morning, are you there? Morning, sir. Yes, uh, morning. Good morning, gentlemen. Go ahead with the contribution. Uh, Good morning. Uh, yeah, I've been following the I've been following the program this morning and concerning the time, okay? Okay. Uh, I think I think because most of the time I do think that would anything come out of this nation because the first I make is the commission. The government, they have voters every year for every vote. How can an island organize and, you know, a registration exercise and you sell it for one week or two weeks? I remember when I went to collect my own PVR. So that day, the only people that collected my number was 20 for the whole four hours. And they said it's all made back for three days. And when there are thousands of people waiting in line to collect it. Thank you for your contribution. That's how much time permitted to take from you. Let me have your closing, Rebecca. Yeah, my closing remark is that just to, tell, to add more. You see, INEC is, is created by law to carry out legal activities. One of its legal activities is to ensure that all Nigerians are re registered as voters. As voters. Okay. And Section 10 gives them that power of continuous voter registration. Nice. Not that it is a regular thing or you, you, you box people. Mm. From 2011 till now, what were they doing? So last minute. That's why your eagles did not go there. <laughs> Nonsense. <laughs> Barrister Wale Oguade is a human rights activist, is also a constitutional lawyer, as well as president of Voters Awareness Campaign. Thank you for joining us today. We hope that um, you will get um, some cushion to your anger and Anik will give us, indeed, great answers Amen. to the questions of our heart. We'll Amen. take a break now, and we'll be back with business. Stick around and go away. Every day, every hour, and every minute, news break in Nigeria. Things happen so fast, it's most times difficult to track and comprehend them. But that's what we do right here on DJ360. 2015, would you want to come back again? It's like asking Jesus Christ if he knew he was going to die, would you, come, would you want to come back as the savior of the world again? We do not just help you track the stories, we break them down, explore all the angles, analyze the issues so that you can fully comprehend the stories and use them to make the right decisions. 